So back in April of last year, Jack Dorsey, who created Twitter, endorsed Elon Musk's acquisition of the platform, writing in April of 2022, quote, in principle, I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter. It wants to be a public good at the protocol level, not a company. Solving for the problem of it being a company, however, Elon is the singular solution I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. Fast forward to today, and Jack Dorsey is now backtracking because he acknowledges that Elon Musk has been a complete disaster for the platform that he created. CNN explains, former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey backtracked Saturday on his earlier endorsement of Elon Musk as the right choice to lead the company, speaking out against the billionaire who, for the past six months, has led Twitter through a series of largely self-inflicted crises. Asked on Bluesky, Dorsey's new Twitter-like social media venture, whether he believed Musk has been the best possible steward of Twitter, Dorsey said flatly, no. Dorsey added that Musk should have walked away from acquiring Twitter for $44 billion and faulted Twitter's board in hindsight for trying to compel Musk to follow through with the deal despite Musk's attempts to back out of the purchase last year. Quote, it all went south, Dorsey said, but it happened and all we can do now is build something to avoid that ever happening again. So that is his polite way of saying, yeah, his takeover has been a complete fucking disaster. And I was absolutely wrong about Elon Musk. And I feel like what he said about Elon Musk just makes me believe that this man is a weirdo, right? He created a platform that is good. I mean, Twitter, even before Elon Musk, has brought a lot of us lots of misery, right? But I mean, he created something that, without a doubt, is used by a lot of people. And it has been, I think, good for democracy overall. It gave voices to people in authoritarian countries who wouldn't otherwise be able to get the word out. So, I mean, Twitter has been instrumental in elevating political discourse in a multitude of ways, even if it kind of feels on this smaller level that it brings us all down. But at the same time, like to think that Elon Musk would extend the light of consciousness is just bizarre. Like I, for one, I honestly didn't think that Elon Musk would be as big of a disaster as he is. My response to Elon Musk acquiring Twitter, if you go back and watch those videos, was, yeah, I'd prefer that he didn't do that. But I mean, at the end of the day, I don't necessarily think that he would substantially change the way that the platform functions because this is a businessman who wants to make money. So all this talk about free speech and all this bullshit. Um, he is going to make some minimal changes, some tweaks around the edges, but largely keep things the same. But I was wrong in the sense that it got worse, like to be this supposed warrior for free speech. And we now see more censorship on the platform is not necessarily something that I expected. I just assumed that there would be less bans for right wingers, less enforcement of hate speech policies. And there has been, but like to the extent that he has turned the platform into a hellscape, especially for marginalized people, namely trans people, that's the understatement of the century because he destroyed the fucking platform and it's basically parlor. That's what it is. Now, what's bizarre is that Elon Musk is still pretending to run Twitter in this altruistic, neutral way so as to promote the political viewpoints of everyone and encourage discussion. But that hasn't happened, and he's turned Twitter into a right-wing hellscape specifically by fostering that kind of environment. Like, Twitter is the way that it is currently because of what he did who he interacts with. I mean, now verified users who are mostly conservatives or Elon Sims are promoted by the algorithm. So you'll see them more and their posts are not good, but that's what the algorithm is pushing. He also interacts almost exclusively with right-wingers like Tim Pool, Libs of TikTok, and he even pays for exclusive tweets for Libs of TikTok. This is a hate account that inspired a bomb threat against the Boston Children's Hospital over lies that they spread on that very platform. But Elon Musk, the owner of this platform, is paying for that person's tweets when they should be banned. He also purged leftist accounts. He censored posts at the behest of right-wing governments, censors posts at the behest of literal Nazis trying to hide their calls for genocide. I talked about that last week. And in addition to all of that, the platform barely fucking functions. But yet, in an interview with Bill Maher, he talked about his takeover of Twitter, and he discussed it in a way that suggests that 
none of us saw what transpired over the last several months. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Let's watch. You know, my, my concern with Twitter was to that it is somewhat of the digital town square. And um, it's, it's important that there be both the reality uh, and perception of, of trust uh, for a wide range of viewpoints. Um, and uh, there was a lot of censorship going on. Um, and we've, we, we sort of uncovered a lot of that with uh, the Twitter files, including a lot of, of government-driven censorship, which, you know, it, it's, it's, I mean, it, it seems that that's got to be a constitutional violation, what was going on there. But um, so, so, and I can, since I'm like an avid Twitter user, I could detect that like something's not right here. Um, and so that's, that's really why uh, I, I did the acquisition. It wasn't, it wasn't because I thought this was an easy way to make money or something like that. This is a, man, this is, me being mayor of Twitter town, Tweet Town or whatever, uh, is, 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 is definitely like there's a lot of arrows pointed at you, like flying yes, at you. Of you course. Know? See, what he said there is only persuasive, one, if you're naive, and two, if he didn't already purchase Twitter and wasn't already running it into the ground. But as avid Twitter users currently criticize him for running the platform into the ground, rather than listening to their constructive criticism, he tries to portray himself as like some sort of a persecuted victim who's just trying to restore civility to the town square and lift up everyone's voices. But you can't say that because that's not what happened. You're not running Twitter in a neutral way and you're not promoting free speech. You are a censorious bastard and you're as bad as the previous Twitter regime was. This is what your own sims tell you. Barry Weiss even called you out for this. So anyone with a brain who uses Twitter can see that Elon Musk very clearly has been bad for the platform. I mean, how many people has he fired when he went there how many actual engineers who are needed for the platform to function stably has he let go because what they criticized him or something it's just it's ridiculous so i mean it's i'm glad that jack dorsey is finally acknowledging that this was a huge mistake but at the same time it shouldn't have taken him this long but i mean i'm, I'm glad welcome to the part to the party jack i'm glad that you see that elon musk is a complete fucking moron now um, but with that being said, Jack Dorsey created another platform, and that is Blue Sky, and I'm on there, and a lot of other lefties are on there, and it's much, much better than Twitter. It's still not to the point where we can abandon Twitter for Blue Sky because it's in its beta phase, and there's a lot of missing functionality. But in terms of just, like, the environment there, that actually feels like a real town square. That actually feels like you can have conversations, engage with other people who might, might disagree with you, and it's not going to get super ugly. It's not going to lead to somebody, you know, uh, harassing you. It's just, it's a much better platform. I'm sure that as it grows, that will change as well. But one thing I can guarantee is that it's almost impossible for Blue Sky to be ran as poorly as Twitter with Elon Musk at the helm. So either way, it's just funny that Jack Dorsey went from trusting Elon Musk only with Twitter to now saying, oh my God, yeah, he's been a disaster too. Yeah. He's been a complete fucking disaster, and it just shows you that just because you have money doesn't mean that you're smart and you're competent. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.